There is a ceasefire in the Middle East. Let's go to foreign correspondent Trey Yanks, live at the Israel-Gaza border. We had heard that there was a call, at least from our White House, from President Biden, to de-escalate a lot of things, a lot of moving parts here, to be sure, on all sides. Trey, what's going on? Martha, good afternoon. Breaking this hour, the Israeli security cabinet just finished a three-hour meeting and has decided they will announce a ceasefire according to Israeli media, at 2 a.m. local time with Hamas. This comes after 11 days of fighting between the two sides. And according to local media reports, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, along with his defense minister, Benny Gantz, will work along with an Egyptian delegation who got this ceasefire together, hammering out the details of the agreement. But again, less than four hours from now, there should be a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas. The death toll in Gaza was rising. In Israel, more than 10 people were killed as a result of the violence that erupted over the past week between Israel and Gaza. More than 4,000 rockets fired toward the Jewish state. So this is a sigh of relief for the region that's really just been focused on this conflict over the past week and a half. We did speak today with a senior Hamas official inside Gaza who said from the group's perspective, this ceasefire would have to include Israel focusing on two issues about the Palestinian people in Jerusalem, one having to do with the Sheikh Jarrah neighborhood in East Jerusalem and the other having to do with, re with respecting Palestinians at the Al-Aqsa Mosque. We're not sure right now about the details of this agreement because just the broad uh, ceasefire has been voted on. We will get more details in the coming few hours. But again, the news breaking right now, the Israeli security cabinet meeting tonight after three hours and deciding unanimously there will be a a ceasefire agreement starting at 2 a.m. local time. If the past is any indication, though, the region will be focused on the details of this agreement and watching very closely to see if Islamic Jihad or Hamas decides to fire rockets after that 2 a.m. time, at which point we could see the deal unravel. It will be very, very tight, and people will be focused to see what happens tonight. Martha? Yeah. Uh, Tenuous uh, moment, to be sure, on the Israel-Gaza border. And as Trey reports, it will be in the details in terms of what's in that agreement and if it holds between Israel and Hamas. Thank you very much, Trey Yanks, reporting live with that breaking news.